pastors uh, predicted this. Pastors predicted this. That didn't work. Simeon Ekpa predicted that after his countdown, you will get Biafra. Then what happened? What did you do about it? Aren't you still giving him hello, money? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my lovely people. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. It depends on where you're watching from. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jen. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for stopping by. My return subscribers, I love you from here to you. Thank you. So I, I it's been a while now that I haven't done a video um, about uh, Simeon Epa. And I purposely just let it lie a little bit. You know why? Because he he's not important to me. He's not important to me at all. And I, I don't know. I, I, there's something about the guy. So now, uh, this I watch in what a, one of these channels, the people that promote, he say, some of you don't have the mind of your own to know when somebody is telling you the truth and when somebody is telling you lies, when somebody is trying to rip you off. So when I give you that channel's name to go over there and watch what they're saying, you're probably going to buy what they are saying because you don't have a mind of your own, because you don't understand how the laws work. So I watched the video where the boy was... Uh, showing a video of where they were doing some kind of uh, violence stuff. I don't know why that channel is still open. YouTube, YouTube is seeing those things and they are not taking them off. Take them off the channel because they are not worth it. They are not worth it. I, I kid you not. Take a take this channel off the channel. All these channels that are showing all the stupid things, uh, um, making people get into one problem or the other. So, but anyway, I had. I saw, I saw some of my friends sent me where they made a Simeon Ekpa. Eh, eh, is that the president or whatever, whatever in exile? Hey, since they did that, eh, the man, the, ma the short man has finally, his wings is now growing. So Asari Buko or Asari Duko, whatever his name is, the fat, fatty bombo one. Put it upright that uh, Simeon Epa has kidnapped uh, the Kano's uh, effort and taken it so he can. He, he said it correctly. He said it as, as, as bad as I don't like him, but that one, he was correct. So this man stayed over. I don't know who made him the prime minister of Biafra. I don't know who. I don't know who. But I am here to let you know. Let me tell you hmm? if you are sitting in your house, hmm? thinking that a Simeon Ekba or Unite Africa or Unite Biafra Unite, all of them will come and get to Biafra. You guys, you will be stupid. You will not get Biafra. Let me mess you up a little bit. If you are thinking that these people or you are contributing money, giving to these people, you are just contributing your money. In short, they are, they are eating you. They're eating you. Because the only way you will get Biafra is when Nigeria, that where we are, that is our country, will sit and they will say, okay, oh, we, are, we are tired of these evil people. Let us do referendum so that the people that will support say, hey, they say, hey, the people that will not say, nay, and they say, nay, and they count the a hey, and they, and the hey, nay is more than the nay. Hey. That's the only way you will get it. So if you think that somebody will come and tell you that they they they, they will be the one to get you Biafra, all of you, they will delete all of you before that time. You will not ever see. And you know, uh, I made the Bolatino board will not come out and tell Simeon Epa anything because Simeon Epa worked for him during election time. Simeon Ekba did a whole bunch of stuff for, for this man. Collected money, one, bi one million or one billion or two million dollars that he pocketed for himself. He came out, or Hanez and Dibo, don't ask me how I know. Hanez and Dibo came out and said it, that they know he collected money and that he's coming from behind to beg them. Is he know why they banned him from coming to Nigeria and said, your leg will never touch Nigeria. That's why they made him the president of Biafra in exile. So the, he is your president in exile, not in Nigeria. So let me tell you, as long as 
We still live in that Nigeria. You will never get Biafra until they did. They do referendum. Simple. I support Namdekano for them to leave Namdekano alone. But all these people on social media, they, they unite Biafra or Biafra Unite is on the social media showing where they were using Ebe and Omoto burning, showing it and said, this is where, what we are telling you. And what he was saying to yourself, I can't even say it on my channel because I don't know the kind of channels they have that will make them say things like that. And then... Um, YouTube is still keeping it. I was saying, I will not say, I beg. YouTube know who they are to follow them. So, uh, but he is, uh, the reason why I am making this video is because after he showed all those uh, violence, he came out and said, this is why we are telling you guys to contribute money because Biafra is on the way. If you believe that, um United Biafra or Af Biafra Unite is the and Simeon Epa will be the one that will get you Biafra. Even Nambikano cannot get you Biafra until they sit down on a chair and balance and said, Okay, now it's time to do referendum. Until then, you are wasting your time. Until then, you are you are deleting each other for nothing. It will not happen. It will not happen. Nambikano by himself. Cannot get you Biafra. All Nam the Kano is saying is let us have referendum. Period and simple. But Simeon Epa and his criminal gangs are collecting money from you guys because the boy was saying, hey, hey, this is why we are telling you guys to contribute money because your money is going to a good thing because we will get you Biafra. If you live in abroad, or you even you are in Nigeria and you are believing that Nam the Kano, let me not call the refrains, the idiots, let me not call them. You believe in that Nam the Kano will get you Biafra with, without having referendum, without having good governance. Um, you smoke Igbo, you drink Ogogoro, <laughs> you are a very stupid person. And now he is. Coming up to tell uh, 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 Biafra how he's going to have one week uh, sit at home. How he's going to have we? Is he going to have? It is you too that he is trying to set you guys up. It's you. It is you that he's trying to set up because he is in abroad, trying to tell you. But anyway, you know, so our people, some of them have learned. Their lessons and learned because some people, Simeon Ekpa, had made them their fathers, their mothers, the whole family wiped away because of Simeon Ekpa and his criminal gangs. Simeon Ekpa has done that. And if you are believing, still believing Simeon Ekpa, eh, you have a problem. You have a very, 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 very big problem. So I saw that. I said, don't buy what they are telling you about sending them money. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. It's a lie. He's a criminal. All of them are criminals. They are thieves. They are thieves that are milking you. Because even them themselves that are telling you these things know that there won't be any Biafra until there's referendum in Nigeria. Mm -mm, there will not be. You know, if Simeon Epa is a good beer friend, he would have put his foot down to make sure fight for Peter Obi because he is angry at Peter Obi because Peter Obi during election time did not come to his show and tell him why he want to be the president. That is the number one reason why Simeon Epa is angry at Peter Obi. And I was so happy that he did not do that. I was so happy because he's a rat. He's a cockroach. He is a, ah, God. If you had, if he had done that, eh, I would not support him. That's why he went from behind to go and sell his soul to the devil. Now that, um, uh, uh, Imo State uh, govern, government or Imo State governor is about to happen. He want to, uh, he will be working for uh, Imo State now. He will be working for Imo State governor to make sure that he delete enough people in the Imo State. Because in Imo State governor, hmm? 
Imo state governor, which is Hope Uzodima, he will be working with Simeon Ekpa now, hand in hand, with this election that is coming. Because election is their life. Election is where their souls are. And Hope Uzodima know that if he doesn't use criminals, that he will not be elected. And uh, that criminal in Finland is waiting for him to call him if he hasn't called him yet. That's what is happening. So I saw that. I said, let me come and tell you guys that Simeon Epa and all his criminal gangs are deceiving you. I don't care if they made him president of Biafra. Biafra, we are in exile. Uh, Prime Minister, we are in exile. Because he cannot come to Nigeria. He, he, where would he even go? Where would he go in Nigeria? He didn't build a house. He didn't build anything, not even a toilet. Did you guys forget that during election time, some good Nigerians, some men that are real men that lives in Nigeria, started looking for where he is from. And they found that he did not build a toilet. So where would he come? Would he come home to come and deal with the people that he sent his criminal people to delete their family members? He cannot come home. Oh, and it's indeed, but even though they are useless too. They are useless too. But they have said that he will never show up in Nigeria. So that's why they made him president in exile. And you are supporting somebody that they made president in exile. And he's in exile committing crime in Nigeria that is making people delete. Wait, that's why he doesn't want P2B to become the president of Nigeria. Because when P2B become the president of Nigeria, what he's doing now, he cannot do it. Because in one of the videos that I had him, he said, let us use this uh, political something and make a difference. Let us use this political, uh, get uh, red and black. Let us paint the whole place red and black and come out. What, we, what do we need is red and black, hair tied them. That's what he was had saying. Let us use this political time now and do what we have to do. Because he knows who Peter Obi is. If Peter Obi gets in the office, some of these idiots will not do what they are doing now. But because they select, I next select the president that is there now is a criminal. And most of these people that are doing this thing worked for him. He will not do anything. He will not do anything. But one thing, thing, one thing, thing, eh? all of them will be shut up. All of them will be shut up. I am so glad that most villagers now, some villagers now, they are doing some security, something to protect themselves. And anybody, anybody, unless your mama no born you well, that go to those villagers that have the, the, the security, the villagers, the youth uh, uh, taking care of the village, and you carry yourself and go there, you will not go, they will... Maybe try to go to some villages because some villages have finally known that Simeon Epa and his gang people they are criminals and they are not allowed to go to anywhere to cause problem in in Biafra land. They know that. So I saw that. I said, let me come and tell you guys that Simeon Epa is still up there begging for money. Simeon Ekpa and his criminal people are still begging. They are still begging you to give them some money. So they can go and ban you uh, uh, and call Russia to come and fight for them. So they can go and call uh, Ukraine to come and fight for them. So they can go and buy Amitan. Can you believe them? Are you okay? Are you stupid? Are you a moron? Are you an idiot? For you to believe that one person like me, I will go and get a tank to go and fight Nigeria. What is wrong with you guys? So I saw that. As I thought I'd come and let you guys know. He will not stop. His, the money, he will never eat enough. You know, somebody like Simeon Ekpa, even if he is the president of Nigeria today, he will be worse than Muhammad Bugari. He will be worse than Abacha. All the people that have stolen our money. If somebody can go and sell his soul to the devil and collect money from outsiders, Eh? That person, make the person president. You are a gunner. 
you are gonna we want something to start coming down you know in this country in this country where i am i live in u.s in this country where i am when uh, the former president was in the office everywhere was fire kata 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 everywhere was fire and when biden came in eh, it's like you use pour cold water and poured in a in a fire and everything started coming down everywhere is so cold everybody is minding their business and doing what they're supposed to do because you know why because they know that if they try anything stupid that they will pay they will they will be charged they will be charged and they will be the one to go to court to so not to see me on Epa. see me on Epa is in finland so people are not, even the head of the people that cause problem in this country, they are paying for it. That's how you know when a good leader is up there. When a good leader is up there, nobody can come and do anything stupid. And that's what we are betting in, in Obi. And it's about to happen. And there's nothing Simeon Ekba can do. His criminal gangs cannot get it enough. You cannot get Biafra. Let me repeat it for you guys. Nam the Gano cannot get Biafra. Simeon Epa cannot get Biafra. Unite whatever cannot get Biafra. They cannot get Biafra unless Nigeria sits down. The lawmakers sit down and said, okay, let us have referendum. And until then, you are just throwing your money away. Simeon Epa was counting, counting down on you guys before, right? After counting down, then what happened? Then what happened? All of you said, uh, pastors uh, predicted this, pastors predicted this, that didn't work. Simeon Ekpa predicted that after his countdown, he will get Biafra. Then what happened? What did you do about it? Aren't you still giving him money? Are you not still giving him money? You are still giving him money. So my lovely people, I, I just saw that. I thought I'd come and let you guys know. Stop deleting your brothers and sisters and said that you you wait. You wait for somebody in abroad to come and use you to delete your brother and sister. God forbid. So my people, I that's what I saw. I thought I'd come and let you guys know. I'll make it clear to you that if you're praying that Simeon and Kano or whoever it is that's claiming that they want Biafra, will get to Biafra without Nigeria in a hole, gathering in the uh, 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 where they're supposed to gather and make the room and do referendum. You're wasting your bloody time. And guess what I'm going to call you? Mumu, Mumu, and I will, what else am I going to say? And, oh, it's not my fault that you did not use your sense to figure out how the law works from me to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye -bye.